Morning legends. It is 7 a.m. I'm just here at Richardson Park. Early morning session with young Shrias. Uh, he's running a little bit late. We were meant to start at 6.45, but all good. Just about to get into it. Just avoiding the sprinkler here that's trying to wet me. Nice early start to the week. Love getting out and about at this time of day. Just walked into the gym and it is empty. Uh, you beauty, this is what we like. Hey vlog, just finished a gym session here at Tonkins. I uh, did my coaching session this morning at Richo, then came here. As I said in yesterday's vlog, just about making good choices. I went for a run yesterday, gym early this morning. I'm going to make sure I'm training hard this week. Uh, I had a bit of a slack um, January where I was uh, focused on the business, making sure I'm getting lots done there, which I still am, but I've got to make time for myself, make time for the gym, make time for my hitting, um, and make sure that I'm working hard at myself. Um, which will end up benefiting the business and also uh, my own cricket, which is really important to me. Monday is always a busy day of admin for me, and today I had Will come over and do all our video stuff um, and work on some YouTube tactics and strategies. And I had Blake Reed, who's one of our mentors, come over. He's uh, learning some business side of things, and he's going to start implementing some tactics for us. Great shot. Good start. Good. Okay, just lent back a bit too much. Shot, Ros. Yes, lovely shot. Quality. Yes, even better. Using your left side better. Shot, right. Look where your weight is. Where's your weight that time? Okay, and what was your back leg doing? Straight, exactly. It was straight, like you just said which allowed you to then get all your weight forward. So it being straight, gets your weight right into your front leg, whereas some of those other ones before, you collapse here, and then all your weight fall, stays back. Good adjustment, mate. Shot. Solid, good. I really think, Alf, I really think we can continue to work on you strengthening that top wrist. Just. Come forward, to come, get in your stance and come forward to where you contact the ball. Okay, we really want that to be not, yeah, like a bit more st strength there. Okay. So not sort of so that it collapses and that and handle yeah. touches the wrist. Yep. You want that so there's a gap between the top of the handle and, and the side of your wrist here. Yep. And that's strong. And then, so see that's collapsed, that's your strength there. And then you just raise your elbow up with that same strength in your wrist. Keep working on that strength in your top wrist, controlling the swing. Yes, that's it, Alfie, good boy, brilliant. Shot, boy. Shot. Quality. Mate, that honestly was as good as I've seen you hit them in a long time. Why do you think it was so good? Hundred percent. Like I think technically, which I'll get into in a sec, it was as good as you've been. Yeah. But it was your mindset. You just came in here with a smile on your face. Yeah. And you just from ball one, you just were looking to hit the ball. Yeah. Definitely. You were sort of. I think your mood that you walked in here with, because you'd scored, played well on the weekend. You were telling me about your game, and you were sort of smiling, and you were happy, and yeah. you walked in here with in a good mood. And then you sort of just played with freedom. Yeah. And that allowed your body to get into positions that it should be getting into to hit the ball where you want it to go. How, so tell me about the weekend. Um, yeah, it went all right. I, got, I think I, it was six, then I got a run out. Yeah. It was a bit of barbecue. You barbecued yourself or? My mate did. Really? Yeah. See ya. See ya, Hados. So um, why, what happened? Here I'm asking Travis about how his weekend went. At the start of every session, I like to get feedback from the player. So why have you started running without looking at the fielder already? Because you I trusted trust him. him, yeah. But I you, it's a two-way street, yeah. and runouts. There's always two people involved, so there's always two people to blame. Yeah. You could say no. Yeah. So, but you can't just tap and trust. You ha you have to, like, you have to have a little bit of awareness of where the ball is. Yeah. So, like, as you're turning, that's why we talk about not turning blind. So if it's so if you're here and you hit it to the leg side, if 
you're turning at the non-striker's end, you've got to get down, look up, and then sort of refocus on your partner. But you've got to have some awareness because he could be wrong, and which he was, obviously. Yeah. So you just got to keep your spatial awareness and your awareness of where the ball is. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah, unfortunate by the sounds of it. <sighs> Good. One off the mark. Nice and positive. Uh. Yep, that's probably beaten mid wicket. Maybe not, but I'll give you one. Uh. What do you want to do say then? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe just. Oh, we haven't done spin in a while. I was going to say, so start yeah. batting at four. Maybe you're starting against spin a bit. Uh. Okay, do you reckon there's any danger from that ball? I reckon that sort of short and wide-ish hitting with the spin, you could be look, you should be looking to score off that. There's not a huge amount of danger really. The only danger would be it stays low and you chop on or it bounces a bit more, you get sort of cut nick caught behind. So always was someone who tinkered with his game a lot. Yeah. But he said to me once, like, oh, I've had 50 different techniques. Some days he'd do this, back and across one. Other days he'd do a double. Some days he'd stay still. Other days he'd have a big forward press. Yeah. Other days he'd tap. Yeah. Other days he'd have his hands here, his pick up here. He was someone that was a feel player. Yeah. So if he didn't feel like he was on, he'd try and tinker and change something. George Bit like George Bailey, yeah. And that doesn't work for everyone because a lot of people like to be just very consistent. Yeah. I don't like playing too much with my technique. Yeah. I've generally, sort of try to stay very still and just tap. That gives me rhythm. So at your age and with your 20 years of cricket ahead of you, you're going to go through periods where you might be triggering and then you, you feel like the trigger's making you fall over. Yeah. And so you say, okay, I either have to double trigger yeah. or no trigger. Yeah. Or you might feel like, okay, I just want to try. So it's all a feel thing yeah. and it's, it's a trial and error thing. Yeah. You, don't be afraid to try different things. Yeah. And it's just about trying them at the right time. Like today's Monday. Yeah. If you say, okay, I've got a game on the weekend and I've got three hits between now and the weekend, yeah. that's probably enough time to try something new. Yeah. But I wouldn't encourage you to try something new the day before a game because yeah. then you're going to go in a bit confused. Yeah. Even if you practice something new today and then you did it again tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, you'd still be a little bit, it wouldn't be subconscious there yet, so you'd still be a little bit confused, a little bit distracted when you're playing, because you'd be probably thinking about a different trigger, not just reacting. So it's something, but good players, and Chris Rogers wrote an article for my website, Chris, good players tinker with their game constantly. They're just trying to find a way to just improve and just feel that little bit better. Yeah. They might do a double press and they're really good on the back foot, but they feel like they can't get into the front foot. So they might do a double press, but get a little bit more weight onto their front foot. Yeah. And so they're consciously changing the positioning of their weight. Yeah. So there's so many different subtleties to what, where you start. Yeah. Like you could have more weight on your front foot, more on your back foot, double trigger, single trigger back, single trigger forward, steal, fat raise, tap, you could do what George Bailey does, but then square yourself up, whatever. Yeah. One of the most important things is that your head is still when the ball's released. Yeah. Head has to be still when the ball's released. Yeah. If you're triggering, but still moving, you're always gonna end up over here. Yeah. And if you're completely still, and this happens a lot too, people think, oh, I'm gonna be dead still. They stand still, but then as the ball is about to let go of the ball, they get anxious and they end up doing this and they're not still. So that's one of the reasons people do trigger it because they feel like they get anxious to move. Yeah. So you just got to play with it. There's no right way. You look, at, you look at cricketers around the world, international cricketers, there's so many different techniques, so many different ways to do it. It's all about a personal preference. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Okay, you're on the front foot. If your heel's off the ground on the back foot. Yeah. Your, weight, your front foot's flat. It means your weight's on the front foot. Better. Okay, better. Come in front of me. So you want to try and go, just go that way for a sec. Yep, you want to try and go back and across and then your weight should sort of be on the instep okay. and then your head sort of 
line on the inside. If you get too far, if you get on the outside and too far back, you're going to fall back. You've got no power or control. But what you're doing at the moment, most of the time, is you're going back and then you push out of this front foot, back foot, back into your front foot. So your weight's actually then going forward and your heel's off the ground and your weight's in your front foot. So you've just got to get used to pressing off your front foot and pushing back and holding your weight in your back foot. You can come onto that heel, but you need to be driving into the ground on the ball of your foot. So that back foot gives you a pivot, but you're driving your weight into the ground. There, bang, and second thing is you've got to extend those arms right out. You're just a little bit caught up in here. So back and across, and then extend. Better. How'd that feel? Better. Good. Your weight's more in your back leg. Good. Shot, code. Hey, vlog. Just getting home from coaching. It's 9.15. Late finish tonight. Had seven sessions. All went well. Had a, uh, a nice guy at the end from India. Mrs. S is at home. Hello, darling watching uh, some Winter Olympics by the looks of it. Time for some dinner, and then a little bit of admin before I head off to bed. Well, legends, it is bedtime. It is just ticked over 10. I'm gonna to go to bed and do some reading. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Hope you've enjoyed the insight from my coaching and uh, learned a thing or two. Please leave a comment below if you enjoyed it, or if you wanna learn something from me, please let me know what you wanna learn. I will reply to all your comments. Um, please tell your friends to give us a subscribe and a follow on um, our social channels. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll speak to you soon, legends.